This is an elbow. And if I see these on one of your projects, I'm probably not gonna say anything, but I might give you this look right here. Elbows and J-bolts fall into a family of cast-in anchor bolts where they're used to tie elements down to concrete. They've been used for decades, anchoring your walls down to the foundation or anchoring deck posts down to the foundation. And they've been used by our friends in the steel industry to anchor down column base plates to the foundation. These things are very strong, they're very durable. However, engineers are phasing these out and just aren't using these on our projects anymore. L-bolts or J-bolts should not be used where they're required to resist uplift forces. Uplift forces I'm referring to are wind-induced at the roof level, which transfer into the load-bearing walls your rafters or trusses bear on. If the wind force acting on your building is greater than the weight of the structure resisting the wind force, your home will have a net uplift force. But based on updated wind design speeds in recent editions of the code, it's safe to assume that the average single or two-story home will have net uplift forces. It's not that this thing is weak in tension or anything. There's only a small portion of this rod that can be utilized to determine how much this can resist as far as uplift. And that scenario is what we call pull out. The ability of this thing to stay in the concrete without completely separating out of it. When we do that calculation, I can only use the part of this bar that would be in direct contact. Now you would also think that if I pull up on this, there's concrete around the bar that's, that's in contact with this concrete from friction. But unfortunately we can't use that friction in our calculation. Now, the other reason why I don't utilize these is because of constructability. These are cast in anchor rods, which means that these have to be installed into the concrete before the concrete hardens. So you need to move quickly, making sure that the anchor is deep enough, it's spaced at the correct spacing that's required, and make sure that the anchors are straight and plumb so you can thread your sill plate through the anchor rod and then fasten it together. Ask anyone who does this for a living, it's difficult. There are another class of anchor bolts that I would recommend that can be installed after the concrete hardens, which we call post-installed anchors. So the type of anchor that I typically specify is what's called a screw anchor. It's exactly what you think it is. It's a screw with the threads around there. The way that it, this is installed is that you drill the hole first. You clean out the hole you just drilled. You set your sill plate and then literally screw this right into the concrete and tight to the sill plate. These things are strong. They have a lot of capacity, if not more in some cases than a cast installed anchor. And these are available everywhere, including your nearest hardware store. Another option pretty similar to the screw anchor is what's called an expansion bolt. These things have great capacity, in some cases even more than what a screw anchor has. And it's installed the exact same way. The only difference is that when this is tightened to your sill plate, these flanges at the bottom right here will push down and into this bumped out piece and these will spread apart, locking it into the concrete. So it's another great alternative as well. And the last is similar. You drill the hole large enough where you can set your threaded rod inside as deep as it needs to be. And then you have this epoxy material that gets poured into that hole, creating this this really tight bond to the concrete and to the threaded rod. And these are honestly one of the strongest ways you can anchor something into concrete. Now I'm mentioning this, recognizing the fact that the International Residential Code allows L and J bolts as a foundation anchor. So depending on the codes, wherever you live, they may be perfectly fine. However, if you ask an engineer about using L or J bolts, they're most likely gonna tell you no. And for individuals who don't really have a lot of experience doing building construction, there are so many options that provide the same capacity as an L or J bolt without all of the skill that's necessary to be able to install J bolts correctly. 